Hello, hello, Facebook. How are you, my friends? I think this is going to go up on YouTube too. So hello, YouTube friends as well. My name is Denise Walsh. And if you don't know who I am, I am a mom. I am a wife. I am nice. But I don't know. I like to work out. I like sports. I'm competitive. Uh, what else? I'm a clinical psychologist at heart. Uh, that was my old profession. And I've been an entrepreneur for almost 12 years. So it is like my favorite thing. Team can attest to this. My favorite thing to help you get out of your own way, right? And blossom into who you were created to be. I got me into the field of psychology because I truly know that we're brought here for a reason. We're brought here for a purpose. And so many times we're like searching for that. We're searching. And I've been in that space, you guys. I've been in that space where I just think, God, I don't know what to do. I either have too many options <laughs> or if you have been there before, I either have too many options or I have like pros and cons of an option. And I just don't even know what to do. Have you guys ever? And so even though I really do believe that we are called to a purpose and we all have gifts and desires for a reason, I have many seasons in my life feeling wishy-washy, feeling restless, feeling like I don't know what to do next. I'm spinning my wheels. And I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that, but it is, at least for me, like those seasons are just seriously so not fun because I don't want my life wondering what to do. Lisa says, yes, she has experienced that before. I know, me too. And hey, Lana, thank you. Um, but you know what? I, I think we go through these seasons of restlessness so we can dig down deep. And, and that is what I want to share with you. Says, yes, I felt like that before too. I know. I know. And honestly, you can live in this space for years, you know, like when you just are not fully decided, not fully in, or maybe just second guessing everything. When you think I could do this, I could, should I do? I don't know. And then you take a step and then you second guess it. And then you go over here and then you second guess it. And it, none of it feels good. And I feel like this when we think that we could make a mistake. And maybe you've made mistakes in the past. Um, maybe you have a wrong move, right. Or, or a disappointment or spent too much money than you, you know, didn't end up wanting to spend. <laughs> I don't know. Like we're in this restless space. Kelly said she got the journal today. Yay. I'm going to talk about uh, one section in the journal today. That's like the main focus of this. You are going you're going to enjoy that. Okay. Um, but we're restless or we're in this decisiveness in my experience, because we, we don't want to make the wrong move. You know, we like take a step and then we go, is this the step I should take? And then we look at our options again. And then we take another step and we, we like, say, and you guys, that just doesn't feel good. That doesn't feel good. That doesn't feel good. That doesn't feel good. And, and then we're wondering, even if we're taking action, if it's what we should be doing and learned and, and, you know, totally feel free to comment below what you've learned coming out of these seasons as well. But what I've learned really can't really mess it up. Like you can't really do it wrong. Like there's a five lane highway all towards your life's purpose, like towards your goals, towards your, you know, joys, all of that. And there's a lot of ways to get there. So maybe one way will be, a, maybe one way will be a little bit smoother, but they all are going to get you there. And the ways that you'd say maybe are a bit more bumpy or maybe have a bit more detours, you still end up getting there and you learn such along the way. So the two things that big dreamers know 
uh, coming out or even going in to these decisions when, and when you have to make decisions is that the decision is important, not what you do. Like, yes, that's important and weigh the pros and cons and all of those things, but decide something. As they say, homicide is the death to someone else. Suicide is the death to oneself. Decide is the death to all other options. Okay. When you decide, right, you decide whatever lane you choose to be in, then the point of that is like, you can't second guess like what would be in the other lane. Should I be in the other lane? Uh Oh, should I have taken this step? Oh no. Should I go on the other lane? You know what I mean? Like you can't be double-minded and decisive at the same time. So the first strategy for those who want to be big dreamers is to decide, decide, decide what you want, decide what you want, decide what you want right now Want it in a year. Decide something different. Know that you're not stuck. You're not pigeonholed. There's so many options out there. There's tons of ways to make money. There's time to live your dream life and live out your life's purpose. So the first strategy is to decide. Ask yourself the question, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? And then take a step. And then when you take the step, right? blinders on, decisiveness, you stay confident in that step because it, there's no right or wrong. You can't mess this up. This is just the game called life. You're going to just keep moving and growing forward and don't know what you're doing. You'll learn what you're doing. You know what I mean? So the first strategy is to decide. The second strategy is found in the Dream Life Daily. They said she just got, whoop, whoop. Super fun. So I got this or I created this tool because um, so many people have asked me. All right. And so honestly, this has been my morning routine for almost a decade. And I would write it on a notebook or kind of just mind as I'm like eating breakfast, I would write things down. Um, and I live in this in this type of world. So this is Okay. So once you decide, <laughs> Australia's here. Hi guys. Um, once you decide, right, death to all other options, you take a step confidently because you're no longer double, right? And then you decide what you want. And so this is the page I'm going to talk about today. Your dream life goal, affirmations, and visualization. So every day in life daily journal is similar. It's a similar routine because we're instilling habits. We're instilling habits. Uh, there's a dude game that's super fun every morning to kind of lift your energy and get your mind right. But the rest is geared towards what you want. So there's space for journaling. And so here's the strategy with this. You're going to write down the same goal or a version of that same goal because you're in one direction. So if your goal is to pay off debt, then I, you know, your, your goal is I will pay off $30,000 in debt 31st, 2019, right? Super clear. If your goal is to lose 50 pounds, I am healthy and fit and I will lose 50 pounds by March, whatever, 2019. If your goal is to your company, then, then that is your specific long view target. Okay. Three months, six months, that's your vision. And once you put those blinders on right, you make decision, you pick your lane, you stay in it. You're not looking left. You're not looking right. You're not double-minded. You're not second guessing yourself. That are wheels. That's called the hamster wheel. That's called staying stuck. Once you decide and you've got your blinders on, then every day, same goal. So I've had people ask me, do you write down a different goal every day? And my answer to that is no. When you've got big, hairy, audacious, when you've got dream life goals that are going to like domino effect into other areas, they're big. They're not something you can check off your list in a day. They're think time. They're going to take mo creating momentum. They're going to take staying focused. So the second tip, 
uh, that dreamers know how to do that will spinning your wheels and into action and progress immediately is focus, focus. So decide, focus, and you focus every day on your dream life goal by writing it down consistently, consistently. Because here's the thing, life's happening to all of us, right? or kids, or picking kids up from school, or sports practices, life's happening. But every day I'm reminded about what I want. I'm reminded of the big, hairy, audacious work towards, and it helps me put my blinders back on. And then what you do here is you have your affirmation and visualization. And remember, they're cool. So you're not just saying haphazard affirmations. You're talking about what life will look like for you when your goal is complete. You are talking about what life, will, what you'll expect when that goal has been met. So your affirmation and your visualization are also the completion of this goal. Guys, there's science and scripture woven into all of this. And what this particular step, focus intention, like decide focus, is you're seeing yourself three steps ahead where you are today. I'm going to let that sink in. Yeah. There's a perp, there's a method to this madness, right? There's a purpose. You're seeing yourself three steps ahead of where you are today. And when you see yourself three steps ahead, you're kind of calling it out as if it is. And you're, you're the how has to show up because here's the deal. Your subconscious cannot differentiate between a, an, an imagined event. Yeah. So here's the deal. Okay. Think about this. If you're so differentiate between a real and imagined event and we choose to imagine our dream life goal in completion, you know, maybe you're whipping up your credit cards. Maybe you are paying off your, maybe you are doing a bodybuilding competition. Maybe you are celebrating a promotion with your team. Maybe, you know, whatever it is for you right now. Your body, like your subconscious has to figure out a way to make it happen. Our job isn't to figure out the how. That's not what I'm asking. I didn't care what your next step is. That will be in next week's video. <laughs> right now, it's all about what do you want, right? Decide, focus, and then picturing yourself achieving it. Yeah. When you're creating and cultivating your own personal vision, you know where you're going and you're excited. And that's when you can't wait, but hop out of bed in the morning, excited to pursue your goals. Because even if it's a turtle step or a cheetah step, you are going to take a direction that you desire. So I am really excited. If you have not yet gotten the Dream Life Daily Journal, um, go to toolkit.com because this week only, when you purchase the journal from dreamlifetoolkit.com, you're going to get two experiences that really impact this decision clarity and then cultivating your personal vision. Um, and, it, and sometimes people this, so I created two tools. The first one is a 15 minute guided meditation where basically you picture, um, you go through eyes and you're just relaxing and I ask you to picture some things and it's connected to your life's purpose. So the whole question of what do I want? Like, what is this about? Uh, you will be able to go heading in that direction through the life purpose guided meditation. And then the second thing that you get is 37, if you can see it, 30 summations. So one of the, the, the feedback that I get when I work with my team on affirmations is they're like, I don't know what to say. Let me know if you've to do affirmations and you're like, I don't get it. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's real. It's a skill. It just takes, it's just a habit. These are sick learning. Um, and so the affirmations are here, but I give you 
37. So you can practice. Borrow mine until you create your own. So things like I am loved and lovable. Life is fun and rewarding. I love where I am and I know where I'm going. I am healthy and fit. I power, love, and a sound mind. So you can borrow these affirmations and until, you know, till they become normal, until you'd want to create your your own. But what has page stays consistent, your goal, your affirmations, your visualization, is you start seeing yourself three steps ahead. I mean, imagine the the identity shift that happens, the thought patterns that change when you begin your day saying, I am loved and lovable. Life is fun and rewarding. I am a luck magnet. I'm overflowing with God's love. Does anybody like feel a shift right now? Just even talking about that? I do. I do. So I know that it may seem redundant to write the same on the similar thing every day, but I can tell you that is what separates the pack. Um, when, when the rest of the pack is multi and distracted and all over the place, you have made a decision. You've put your blinders on, you're staying in your lane and you are focused on one thing, one thing that's going to catapult breakthrough, change all other areas. That is how you create momentum, right? One thing. As they say, your focus forms your future. Your focus, your future. What you focus on gets bigger. What you focus on, your subconscious has to figure out how to get you there. And things are lining up. they about to pop in right when you need it. But it only happens when we know what we want and we're focused on it. So the last thing I'll mention about this one page is that right every day you, it becomes from like, I want to, I am to see it happening. And it, it kind of takes it part like an, like a, I want to, I am like, it takes it from this dreamland to, to a space of being. You know, like a space where you already believe that it's happened. Like you already feel that way. You already feel financially free. You already feel thousands of dollars being deposited into your bank account. You already feel the rock starting up on your team that you meet getting your nails done. You already like, a, you like, you expect it. You know it because it's gone from your head to your heart. So I hope that this is helpful. And for those of you that truly want to take your life to that next level, these two things, decision and focus are going to up momentum in your business and in your life. So for just a few more days, you can get the Dream Life Daily Journal, dreamlifetoolkit.com and get those two exclusive bonuses as well. But yeah, I'm going to go stay on a minute and answer any questions. So totally post in the comments if you do. Share this into your team pages because we know that decision and focus is um, like half the battle. And sometimes it's, some, and it's something we need to do every day. It's a daily journal. <laughs> um, but I, I've been getting questions about that. Like, do I do the same thing every day or a different goal every day? And it's all about focus. It's all about intention. It's all about creating momentum. And you do focusing on one thing for a long period of time and creating and crafting your own personal vision. So, hey, Lisa. Thank you. Lisa loves it. Hey, Sam. Hey, Karen. All right. Well, I don't see any questions, but if you do, let me know. Um, Dream Life Toolkit, yours today. We also have a free Dream Life community that I would love to add you to. We uh, kind of do some special like accountability and just bonus stuff in there. So certainly interested in joining that as well. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.